Good morning, Pastor Dale here. Hope you're having a great Saturday morning. Hope you're not too offended by my white whiskers. I am giving my face a, a rest this morning. It's Saturday and uh, Teresa and I are planning to stay home and uh, prepare for tomorrow. Uh, we're excited about the services for tomorrow. Pray that uh, you're able to join us on Facebook Live or ever how that you can get in touch with the media that's going on. Have a little devotion this morning for you. It's called God's Great Heart. Luke chapter 10 verse 27 says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself. It says divine love like a reflected sunbeam shines down before it radiates out. Unless our hearts are conditioned by the Holy Spirit to receive and reflect the warmth of God's compassion, we cannot love others as we ought. Jesus wept tears of compassion at the graveside of a friend. He mourned over Jerusalem because its people had lost their sensitivity to God and His Word. His great heart was always sensitive to the needs of others. When challenged to state the most important commandment, He replied, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself. Jesus' love was more than human compassion. However, it was in the fullest sense divine love, for he was God in human flesh. This is the kind of love he calls us to have, and the kind he will give us as we seek it from him. So it says our hope for today, only through the Holy Spirit can we truly weep with those who weep and rejoice with those who rejoice. Ask God to help you Take your flesh out of the equation and to love as God loves. So this morning, I just want to appreciate all that God is doing. I believe through these tough times, the Lord is causing the church to get outside the church walls and to love others the way we're supposed to. Got some new things coming up, some exciting things that are getting ready to happen. Uh, my daughter, Misty Caldwell, starting Monday, she's going to begin a ministry that uh, we're going to work on that's going to be amazing for you guys. And just give you a little bit, a snippet of about what it's going to look like is that we're going to ask you any of you guys that have had a uh, wonderful experience through this testing, through this coronavirus uh, pandemic, if something positive has happened to you out of that, um, I want you to write it down on a piece of paper and get it to my daughter. And she's going to then, in turn, uh, narrate that by voice. And we're going to attach it to the Facebook posting. Not sure how to do that yet, but we know it's possible, so we're going to make that happen. But uh, if you want your testimony to get out to several hundred people, I think that's going to be a great way for people to be encouraged, for people to feel like they're a part of Rio East Church and what's going on, and other people, too, that are hearing and listening to be encouraged. We want you to be lifted up. You know, I know in these times it's easy to listen to the news and to get depressed and they talk about death and destruction and all the things that we're facing. But Jesus said, when you see these things, lift up your head. Your redemption draws nigh. I'm looking for heaven. I'm looking for great things. I'm looking for the joy of the Lord to fill my life while I'm still here. So remember this, that we're starting, uh, starting it on Monday. And if you have a testimony that you could put together between now and Monday, we're going to be reading one each day as we come to you at 11 a.m. We'll be reading one testimony a day. And uh, thankfully, it'll be my daughter's beautiful voice. You won't have to listen to this old scratchy voice, but uh, we're going to make that happen. So if you need to uh, get a testimony to her, if you'll text me, then I'll in turn text you back her email address. We're just asking you to write it out uh, in simple form, something probably three minutes and less. Uh, don't want to much go over three minutes on it. So, uh, and, and, and remember, this is not something that happened to you 20 years ago. This is something that the Lord has done for you through this coronavirus pandemic that God has maybe opened your eyes to family time. Maybe the Lord has helped you to mow a neighbor's lawn. Maybe the Lord has helped you to take a bag of groceries to somebody. And through that, you received a blessing. So that's a, um, option that you have, something we want you to be involved in. And please uh, don't hold back these testimonies. Somebody needs to hear what God is doing for you. He does it for you, yes, but he does it for you to share to others, just like salvation. Salvation is yes for us, 
but that salvation is for us to shine to others. Jesus said, don't put your light under a bushel, but put it on a hillside. Let it shine for everybody that's out there. So tomorrow, let me give you a little snippet about what's going to be happening tomorrow at 1030. We'll be going live with the service at Rio East. Praise and worship, ministry, preaching the word of God. But right before that, at 930, uh, I'm understanding that many of our Sunday school teachers are going live with uh, the class, the Sunday school class. I know the youth group is going to have a live Sunday school class. I know that the gap group is having a live Sunday school class. I believe that the driven is doing a live Sunday school cl uh, class on Facebook. So those things are available to you. We want you to be involved. We want you to listen. We want you to get an in-depth study of the word. And then again, at 1030, we're going live. We want you to be there. We want you to have your family there. Uh, just like we ask you on Wednesday night, please dedicate this time to the Lord. Lord, don't let your kids be running through the house going crazy, but set them down like you would in church. And let's have church and let's worship the Lord and let's come before God with thanksgiving, with worship and praise. And then tomorrow evening at 5 p.m., Tim and Jennifer McKee will be going live with a with the class that they're teaching on the thinking process, how we think in our mind. I don't remember what they're calling it right now, but it's about the mind and the thinking. We've had so many positive comments about that class, so make that available to yourself. And then again at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening, we'll have another service live from the sanctuary. And God's going to be ministering and touching people. Uh, the praise team, Lord willing, will be singing for us and, and worshiping the Lord. And then uh, Brother DJ Chandler will be ministering, bringing the word right behind the praise team. We're looking forward to seeing you through Facebook. And we're praying that God will touch you in a mighty way. One other thing that I might add, when we are on the air, when we're live on Facebook, I had mentioned Wednesday night that if you'll just hit the like button, that we'll see all of that. But I need you to go one step further, if you will. I need you to make comments when you're watching. If God blesses you or does something for you, make a comment. Say, hey, I'm here. I'm watching. Our family's doing well. And that gives some interaction between different people. As we're listening to the message, people are watching their Facebook and they're seeing, say, uh, you know, hey, God just healed me. God just uh, gave me a tremendous blessing. Put those things online and let us see. We love you so much. I hope you have a great Saturday. Keep your head up. This thing's going to end soon. God bless you. I love you. Bye.